And I mean, you, you mentioned earlier what attracted you into technology, Emily. Um, as females ourselves, what do you think um, we could do to kind of attract more women from a younger age to want to take that step into a, a technological career? Um, yeah, actually, I was thinking about that because I have a niece and she's young. And I really told my sister, try to get her very early to see if she has any interest in technology or anything, like little robots, whatever it is, to not be like, no, no, just play with this doll or this is too complicated. Or, you know, like uh, as you grow up, you'll hear things as a woman, like, oh, women are not as good in math. and like other wrong things like that and um and so the role in this case of uh, her mother my sister would be to really counter all of that and uh, show her that all the science part basically she can do it and uh, maybe as a child she can have like little you know those uh, sort of little robots i've seen that you can actually have stuff for really like small kids yeah about coding and that would be that would be great. That's for when you're very young. And when you're a bit older and you're in at uni and all that, the, the tough thing is sort of gatekeeping. So it's hard. And uh, depending on the the field you're into, it's uh, it's a bit tough. Like if you go into engineering or something, yeah. Um, there are so few women. It's, yeah. uh, I studied management, actually, in my bachelor. So it was pretty even but i could see like in psychology it was uh, really a lot more females and in things like finances it was mostly guys there yeah so ah, it's there that the change should be made first and foremost mm -hmm. you need to encourage uh, all the women to go into those uh, ch bachelors and mm. things like that yeah Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not expecting us to have all the answers. It's the... what you've done before, so they have this image of themselves, like, oh, this is actually a good job. I can do it, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's interesting, and I don't have to be in some job where I'm like caring for others and blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think a lot of it, from what you've said, it is kind of like a stigma then that um, kind of what you're seeing of, of that job and that profession is, uh, if it's mainly male-based, perhaps that would influence younger women to, to feel like, oh, maybe that's not exactly the career that uh, there's a lot of females and it wouldn't be the best environment for me. So maybe kind of the, the publicity of, of how we perceive it and where we're seeing these, these females. Uh, I know for sure now, more than 10 years ago, there's a lot more... Um, female CTOs and even outside of tech just women in positions of power but they don't get highlighted as much as, as kind of perhaps the men do uh, and they're certainly not as as uh, as well known in terms of like a household name so I think um, that the media definitely has a lot to answer for there in, in terms of our perception of, of these women in power and and where they are but um, I think you've got got some great ideas there and um, certainly kind of introducing the the younger generation to technology a lot earlier i know in in the uk there's um an incentive with raspberry pi which is like a a small um coding um based activity that they give to children okay. in like primary school now so from like five and six they're they're playing with like this raspberry pi and it's uh it's kind of trying to get them into into computers but i think there's still a, a lot of work to be done for sure um i just like hearing people's ideas on how we can uh, how we can kind of combat this and, and try and get a bit more uh, equality between the genders across uh, across all kind of companies but uh, it, it's certainly a, a hot topic at the minute